Oh. You can't find your squeaker. Can't find your squeaker? Yeah. Always look yeah. under the boob. Under. Under, under the, the boob. boob. <laughs> I'm here at the Lake Lanier cluster of dog shows in Lawrenceville, Georgia, and I'm spending the day with Lexi Parasek. Hey! You ready to play? I'm born ready to play. Yay! Hi guys! She can often be found in the Sheltie ring or the Mini American ring and now the Chihuahua ring. We love having her in the Chihuahua ring. She's currently showing Buzz, the number one smooth coat in the country. I love Buzz. Buzz is so awesome. Shelties is her breed and she's been showing them since before she was born. Her parents have been in the sport for over 30 years, with Lexi starting when she was old enough to walk. I can just imagine little Lexi as an adorable junior, starting out with a Sheltie, then moving on to a Whippet, and finally with a Doberman. Three years ago, she started her own professional handling career, where she handles mostly herding dogs, dabbling with a few toys and a few working breeds, but herding is where her true passion lies. In addition to the high energy of herding dogs, she loves all that hair. Grooming is her forte. It's like an art for her, and it allows her to nurture that creative passion. Going to Chihuahuas. Yes. Which is like really no grooming. No. Here. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the Chihuahuas. We had we bought our first pet Chihuahua. Um, well, I guess she really wasn't a pet. We got her from Linda George 12 yeah. years ago. Yeah. But then about a year later, we got our second Chihuahua from Dick Miller. Okay. And then we had our first litter, I guess, about a year after that. We got another one from Linda George because we just loved yeah. the breed. Yeah. Now we have 12, <gasps> oh. and we're obsessed. I was going to say, they, they are a little addictive. <laughs> yes, and I think, I believe Buzz right now is, which I got him from Lana Bowes. Right. Um, and he is doing really well. I own him with Misty and my mom. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Chihuahuas are just so much fun. Oh, so. they are. And the Chihuahuas... I mean, even in my RV right now, they're probably, most of them are lounging on the couch with my Doberman, so <laughs> they're a little spoiled. So we just adore them. As soon as Lexi told me she was going to teach me some of her grooming techniques, oh my God, I got so excited. Went and got me some coffee, came back to her setup, and was ready to learn. Just needed to fuel up. I'm here to tell you the stuff she had me put on those dogs, I swear to God, looked like mayonnaise. And from this point forward, it shall always be called mayonnaise. Okay. All right, so this, do we just use our hands? No, so you're gonna, you can go ahead and do the rough. Okay. Take a little of this in your hands. Mayonnaise. Yep, Run it, okay. rub it together. <laughs> Love the mayo, all yeah. right. And put it, just kind of run it through run the it through rough. Yep. Okay. Don't be shy. All right. Very cool. All right. It's nice and gooey. Yep. Oh, wait. I don't and want then yeah. okay. takes just some in your hands, and I just kind of fluff it in. Be, be generous. No. We're going to brush most of it out. Brush most so of it. Okay. Be generous. Get it in there. Ooh, there, there we go. go. Yeah. It's in her ear. That's okay. I like it. You could do the same thing to this foot right the foot. here. Okay. Yeah. Put the mayo. Yep. <laughs> Do I go up? Yep, up. Everything up with them. Okay. And then... You can even use this little brush. Oh. Pack it in their feet. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, I like it. Perfect. There you go. We don't want their coat soft. We want a lot of texture, too. Okay, you want a texture. Yep. Okay. Soft coats are not, not good Chelsea coats. I just can't stop looking at the mayo. It's cholesterol. <laughs> it's making me hungry. <laughs> and then we'll go back through and we'll take a slicker brush. Okay, and we go we go up. And right? we'll brush. Okay, we'll up. just go just like this. Now how long does it take for the, the cholesterol to dry? Uh, not long. I mean typically probably five minutes. A lot of times, you know, we put the cholesterol on so it makes it a little sticky. So okay. it gives the so chalk gives, a reason right. to stick to it. And we want it kind of, I mean, Shelties are a lot different than other breeds. We want them to look groomed. You know, we okay. want them okay. to be glamorous. We want it, we want them to look like 
we've spent a lot of time doing it. Okay. You know, um, that's the biggest thing. Interesting. That's cool. I like it. Yes, it's I don't, a lot of fun. I don't know if I could do this all the time. <laughs> Not when you have a bunch of them. It's a really time consuming. So how many are you showing today? Uh, I'll show, I have six Shelties. I'll show five minis, quarter collie, two chihuahuas. Everything with coats outside of the Other than the chihuahuas, yep. yep. Wow, that's a, lot of, that's a lot of hair. Yes, it is. It takes a lot of practice, a lot of getting used to, you know, it just takes time, but don't get me wrong, sometimes I wish I had a few smooth stuff. Smooth, yeah. I carry some Dobermans <laughs> yeah. with me at times, and it's so much more so, convenient, yeah. you know. Just bathe them and then wipe them off and go. And go. Yeah. Okay, if you had one piece of advice for somebody starting in dogs, what would it be? Like, if you had to go back, what would your biggest piece of advice be? Find a really good mentor and don't give up. Yeah. We, I, had, I was lucky enough, my parents, you know, they mentored me. And, I mean, they taught me everything, you know, so, and they had great mentors. But, you know, it was like, I see so many new people that they don't have just someone that mentors them and then they don't exactly learn what they should and they want to give up you right know? i mean right. you got to find somebody that is passionate about it too you know that's the biggest thing is there a is there a breed that you have yet to handle that you would like totally die to handle uh affin pinchers actually really yes yeah, love being around the breed um but I just think that the grooming would be so much fun. Their temperaments are to die for. Yeah, well, they are. I yeah, mean, yeah. then they're just fun toy breed. They're fun toy breed, but you also get to groom them. You know, I mean. So you like the grooming part of it? Oh yeah, I love the grooming. It's like artwork. You know. Oh, you want to be on camera? This morning. You want to be on camera? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I love the fact that she has Shetland Sheepdogs and miniature American Shepherds and Chihuahuas and of course her Doberman all living in harmony as she travels each weekend to a different dog show. Pretty darn impressive if you ask me. I couldn't head home without Lexi and I trying my signature move. Oh, you're awesome. Her dogs move so elegantly, Bam. I was sure yes. that they would be able to master the move. And I was right. Was it like this? Yes. Lexi, you are so but Yes, that's it. Yes, that's it. Yes.